Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my bookshelves actually gave out a couple days ago and I literally had no idea what to do or where I was going to put my books. So here we are. My friends on my bookstagram are probably so sick and tired of me of organizing my books and coming up with these different kinds of setups. This is what we're going to be dealing with until further notice. Today, actually, we are going to be doing a book tag. I've never done a book tag before and I saw Steph came up with her own book tag and I feel like every booktuber are doing her book tag so I figured I should do her book tag. Anyway, I liked Steph's questions that she had so I'm gonna just like do her questions. So the first question is what books do you tell people is your favorite? I actually have three books that I tell people are my favorites. So my number one is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. This is the cutest little YA book. It is Taylor Swift coded as well. If you're a huge Taylor Swift fan like I am, you would love this book. It is just so cute. Also, it's fake dating, which is one of my favorite. This is low-key enemies to lovers, um, or maybe it's just like dislike to lovers. It's also like childhood enemies to lovers as well. This this book has like every trope that I love. The second book that I really love is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren and this book is so cute. Again, it's like, it's kind of similar to Better Than the Movies character wise because the main male character is very bookish and I just have, I'm a sucker for like bookish male characters so that's why I really like this one. I feel like the plot twist in this book was just not the greatest plot twist but I really loved the whole childhood best friends to lovers. It was so cute and I really liked it and I love that both characters really like reading. Okay and the last book that I absolutely love is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Reed and this is like my first book that I read that wasn't romance focused. It just became very addicting and you really just want to know about Evelyn and her journey and just her rise to fame. I feel like everyone should read this book. Definitely deserves all the hype. I like it. I mean, as someone who reads a lot of romance books, I feel like this was something that I didn't really expect to like that much and I love Taylor Reed's writing. So these are my three favorite books that I love and my three favorite authors in case you're wondering. Okay, next question is a book that is your guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure is reading anything that involves vampires. This book right here, Crave by Tracy Wolf. <sighs> it's definitely my guilty pleasure. It's a YA romance vampire book and it's nothing like Twilight at all. I did read all the Twilight books and I love them. Anything that involves vampires, immediately yes. This is definitely like one of my favorite fantasy series. I know a lot of people don't like the series because it's super cringe. They can't get past the Gen Z writing and dialogue but I thought it was hilarious. I really liked it. Another book that is my guilty pleasure is the Zodiac Academy series. It's also a fantasy book and it has vampires and dragons and witches. Does it have witches? I haven't really gotten the witch part yet but if you've been following me on my book talk you know this series is like another one of my favorite fantasy series i'm a sucker for vampires i will read and watch anything vampire related my favorite show of all time is the vampire diaries next question is a book everyone loved but you didn't that's gonna have to be beach read by emily henry for me and a lot of people are very upset that i do not like this book and i've probably only met like five people who agree with me but this was so boring it was very slow for me emily henry has a very unique writing style and i just don't think it's for me but i really did enjoy her other books book lovers and people we've met on vacation those were really good but this one was just not for me okay a book that i read the fastest have to be the do-over by lynn painter i finished this in like a couple of hours if you see my last video my little reading vlog i did finish this in like i want to say like maybe 
five or six hours. It's about 200 and like 90 something pages. I would say the book that I read the fastest would probably be a poetry book, but that would be cheating because that's not really like a book book. This is an actual like book book. So this was the fastest book I read and I highly would recommend this. You know I'll recommend anything Lynn Painter writes. So the next question is a book that deserves more hype. This one right here. I am a huge Christina Lauren fan. I've made so many book recommendation videos and this book is like always in every single one. It was so fluffy and just very beautifully written. I love anything Christina Lauren writes. It's Grumpy X Sunshine, it's Fake Dating, Single Parent Trope. You need to read this book. You'll just have butterflies reading this. And I'm obsessed with the male character in this book. He's this grumpy dude, but he has like a very soft spot for the main female character and her daughter. And the ending was the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I couldn't stop tearing up. So cute. Next question is a book you have reread the most. This one, Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. This is my my secret like comfort, my go-to book that I'll just always have a special place in my heart for. I rented this book maybe a couple of times and then I ended up getting it on my phone and then maybe like three years ago I decided I need to own this book so I bought it and I read it like five times during COVID and then I'm pretty sure I reread it like I reread it like some parts of it back in 2021 this book kept me sane during COVID like this was like the the pickup from my reading obsession I read this book and I have all of these books now it's a YA fantasy romance, it's enemies to lovers, this was the start of my enemies to lovers obsession. You guys, the chemistry these characters have is just amazing. This is a series, this is a three book series. I do have it all, um, but I reread the first book the most. It's like a very super girly book and it is rivals to lovers enemies to lovers like childhood rivals to lovers i kind of want to gatekeep this book but the next question is a book from a genre you don't typically read this is still considered a romance it's the song of achilles by madeline miller this is greek mythology it's like a coming of age type of book it's still considered like romance but I feel like the romance was just like the subplot. I ended up giving this book a four stars. I probably will not read it again. I didn't quite enjoy it as much as everyone did. Um, it was a very well written book and I really liked the ending, especially I did cry. This was just completely different from what I would normally read. I actually was very intrigued by it that I ended up reading another Greek mythology book, but it wasn't as good as this one okay next question is a book that made you sob your eyes out for hours and left you heartbroken for days after gosh i have so many books the one that really made me cry for days is forever interrupted by taylor reed just thinking about it makes me want to cry because this book was so sad i literally have a tiktok video of me crying like while talking about this book it's it's embarrassing Taylor Reed does write very sad type of books and I love them so much. This book was just so heartbroken. It's just about a guy and a girl. They got married like very fast and he dies like a week after being married and she literally knows nothing about him and his like family and stuff like that and then she randomly runs into his mother and they're kind of struggling to have a relationship but oh my god you guys just I think this is probably the saddest book I've ever read, if I'm being honest. The last line in this book destroyed me. I did not recover for like days. I tried to read something after, just couldn't do it. If you want a good cry and you want to be sad and just like in your bag, <laughs> you better read this book. Next question is a book that has your favorite characters would be the Addicted series. I have not finished the series yet. I have like three more books, but Definitely, I am just like obsessed, obsessed with these characters so much. I want their lives, just like their lifestyle, the fact that they can do whatever they want. You might not get it, you might think the plot is 
horrendous and doesn't make any sense. This book is like entertainment purposes and I live for the drama. Another series that has my favorite characters is the Akatar series, which is buried in here somewhere. That was the first uh, fantasy series that instantly fell in love with each character. That was like the book series that just made me want to make a book talk and talk about books because it was so popular back then. Another series I would say has my favorite characters is the Cruel Prince series. Another fantasy series, I love Jude and Cardin. They are the power couple of enemies to lovers. You cannot tell me otherwise. Okay, next question is a book with a plot twist you never saw coming. I don't really want to talk about her books, but it'll probably be a verity by Colleen Hoover. This book was just disturbing. Did not expect this book to go the way it did. Like I liked it, but I didn't like it. It messed with your mind and you can't trust anyone in this book. It's like every chapter, it's something different. This book had so many plot twists I did not see coming and like after I finished this book, I'm like, okay, it's really not that bad. But then I read the bonus chapter, you guys, and it just like changed my entire rating of this book to like a zero. The bonus chapter ruined ruined it for me. I do have to say this book was very like like well written. I mean, but I simply just wouldn't recommend it. It is a thriller romance and it was very scary. I made the mistake of reading this at night. Okay, the last question is a book you would recommend to someone who asks for recommendations. The first book would have to be The Mind Series by St. Abby. This book is so freaking good. This is the entire series in like this giant book that I got from Amazon. It is a five book series. The series is so good, you guys. It literally will mess with your mind. Do read trigger warnings for this book because there are some very heavy topics and just like very descriptive scenes, um, very gruesome scenes as well. Loved it. Like this was, this is the best dark romance book I've ever read. It's about a girl who's getting revenge on all of these guys that did her and her family wrong when she was in high school. And yeah, she's just, you know, going around town killing men like you go girl. Other books that I would recommend if you want like fluffy romance, very sweet funny rom-coms. I would recommend anything from Lynn Painter. She writes the funniest books ever. You will be laughing for days. If you want something that's fantasy related, the Akatar series by Sarah J Maas, the Zodiac Academy series by Carolyn and Suzanne, and the Crave series by Tracy Wolf, the Shadow Me series by Miss Moffy. If you want like other romance books, I would check out Christina Lauren if you're looking for sad romance books definitely Taylor Reed. Okay, so that concludes my little book tag video. I hope you guys got some recommendations from this. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!